What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Dante's Rant Room. And I am your host, Dante. Happy freaking Tuesday, by the way. And on this channel, we've praised Japan for typically fighting against the W word. Y'all know I can't say that word because believe it or not, uh, I believe the powers that be on YouTube hate when you say certain words and they'll show their hate by attacking your view counts and stuff like that. Believe it or not, guys, this is, it gets crazy when you start making videos, <laughs> okay? Um, but anyway, I believe for the most part that Japan has done an, an excellent job on fighting against the W word, right? However, it doesn't mean that the W word hasn't still in some shape or form invaded Japan and is doing its best to change or take down anime and manga, right? Mostly by using Twitter to whine and complain about anime. I've covered this a few times on this channel. For instance, is um, raging feminists, right? Attacking anime for fan service, big boobas, slim waist, uh, unrealistic body standards, <laughs> or even like pervy commercials, right? I've said it before, the Japanese are in some shape or form, in my honest opinion, they are copying American style activism. That's what I think is happening. Um, they're seeing what's happening here and they're doing exactly what we're doing because they know it works. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it does work. And that's why channels like this exist because, listen, I know y'all just assumed that I was just some good guy. Listen, I am to an extent, <laughs> but. Uh, Believe it or not, I'm not at the same time, okay? I have my intentions. I intend to protect anime, manga, gaming, and I intend to speak on the, the, the crap that happens in this space in anime, manga, and stuff like that. That's what I'm here for, okay? <laughs> that is what I'm here for. Anyway, the article says that they are sure that Twitter promotes criticism of anime. I've said it before. The Japanese are copying American style activism. Before I continue, um, you might as well go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We talk about anime, manga, gaming, and controversial topics in nerd and geek culture. We post Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturday and Sunday. We talk about the stuff that a lot of channels don't want to talk about <laughs> because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, please consider subscribing and supporting this channel and my work. I really appreciate your support. There's no other way you can build this channel. There's no other way you can build this community and its popularity without you guys' support. So please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate that. Follow me on Twitter. All right, Dante's Rant Room. And um, let's jump right into it. It says, social networks have been an important means for violation realization of the anime industry around the world, which is why watching anime is no longer such an activity that is frowned upon by the mainstream. Which is very true. Anime and manga has become very much mainstream, um, which you can determine whether that's good or bad <laughs> on your own. I have my own thoughts, which I will eventually discuss down the line. Uh, let's continue. However, while the popularity of otaku culture has increased in the world, social networks have also fueled strong criticism that with a single post turned into huge controversy which is very true we previously discovered um, covered a lot of controversy in japan like uzaki chan collaborated with japanese red cross when they considered tower on monday to be a threat relation of the matter or when stocking company atsuki collaborated with anime artists to produce illustrations of women with their products all the above have some form has come from a tri a single twitter post and for the user uh, Takamura, it seems there all is only one culprit, Twitter itself. Well, no crap there. <laughs> and usually, all the controversy tends to stem from Twitter. That's why Twitter is a cesspool of garbageio. Okay, we all know this, right? And now I think uh, maybe Tumblr and TikTok—they're all tick thought. <laughs> okay, then they're all relatively evil places. Um, we'll see how. Twitter go, not that Elon Musk has taken over. Anyway, continuing, according to the user, it turns out that Twitter Japan would become the leader of all these movements against anime, promoting this type of publication against the anime industry, even if there are if, uh, very few reactions at first, 
Obviously, when the publication is recommended by Twitter in its trend section, it begins to receive attention and accumulate numbers, which would end up justifying the decision to promote it. Damn. <laughs> Guys, I, I think we are slowly losing Japan. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it's ha it will happen overnight. Um, it's, it's a gradual thing. You guys understand the way it happened here in America. It's the same as going to happen over there. Okay, it starts slowly, and we thinking we think, yeah, we're winning. Japan is no way going to go the other way and go the W word, right? There's no way in hell. I mean, they got their own culture, and then they're, they're fighting against all that. They like the fan service. They have their own thing going. There's no way they're going to copy American style activism and blah 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 blah. Yeah, right. We're winning now, but I, I do believe in time, in time. They're going to fall like everybody else did. Well, it may take a little while longer because I, I do believe that the fans of anime and manga uh, won't let that happen. Not that, not easily, okay? <laughs> okay, We're not going to let that happen easily. Even if we have to voice our opinions to the artists and anime and manga creators in Japan, we will voice our opinions respectfully. Listen, nah, don't listen to these weirdos. <laughs> Keep on doing what you're doing. But we have to keep on calling this stuff out. We have to, okay? Because if we don't do it, guys, I don't know, man. It's only a matter of time. Like, <laughs> Japan is not immune to the W word. They're not, okay? But we have to keep on going against these guys. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, of course, okay? I'm not calling to action, a physical action. <laughs> I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying we have to let them know that, nah, don't give in to the W word bullshit. You feel me? Anyway, let's continue. It says, I received an answer. Was it Twitter Japan that led the demonstration by left wing activists hashtags by the Liberal Democratic Party? This would mean that Twitter Japan was also responsible for inciting uh, criticism of Moe illustration from feminists, sociologists, right? <laughs> Huffington Post, and others. Third Japan would also have been responsible for the collapse of Atsugi, a weapon, a woman's hosiery company, and its withdrawal from Japan, which was a severe blow to the local economy. Was the decision on the sensitivity towards a variety of otaku content so far so controversial initiated by Twitter Japan? It seems so. I don't know now, but until a few years ago, there was a there were hotlines with the content team which are only revealed on Twitter's favorite outlet. So, were they the ones who promoted the criticism of Zaki-chan and Tawa on Monday? Guys, I wouldn't believe... I, I, don't, I do believe it. Now, if you said this before, I'd be like, no, no way. But after what I've seen and the articles I've covered recently, now, to be fair, it doesn't happen too much, but it does happen where certain groups on the internet... And their influence because they're loudish crap, right? Um, <laughs> they exist, especially the raging feminists, right? But um, let's continue. It says this is all the fault of otaku. This is a comment section, by the way. Come to think, come to think of it, it wasn't natural for those kinds of posts to become a trend only on Twitter and not on any other network. Interesting. Twitter is favoring Huston Post, sure, sure, but it was the otakus and the feminists who were fighting each other that made things worse. Uh, since your life is centered on Twitter, you should go out from time to time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the mystery has been solved, and so on and so forth. Why do you guys think Elon Musk is on their side? I don't think Elon Musk is on their side. I think Elon Musk um, is, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know much about Elon Musk. I know he is very much pro freedom of speech and blah blah blah, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. The most interesting thing too was the fact that recently in Japan, the trending section was full of terms related to entertainment and practically nothing but Japanese politics. The Japanese speculate that this is related to the fact that the division of Twitter Japan has happened with Twitter Mexico had several dismissals derived from the other from the orders sent by Elon Musk. So does that confirm that Twitter Japan staff were actually unilaterally, you know, unilaterally, sorry, selecting the, what they wanted to trend? Of course they were. Of course they were. <laughs> Come on. Seriously, Twitter trends are no longer political. How peaceful do the people who were fired do something like sorting out topics in like this every day? Of course they did. 
of course, now trending in Japan, trending weathering with you, uh, entertainment trends, Witch of Mercury, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I, I do believe that the people of Twitter had a they played a big hand in what was trending. And of course, when it comes to bashing anime, manga, especially when it comes to fan service, because what do Uzaki Chan and uh, Tawa Monday have in common, right? They are both anime with female leads, but the females are typically fan service related, big gigantic mommy milkers, milk cannons, and knockers, and men like it. <laughs> and and if you, of course, if you follow me on my, my channel for a while, you guys know stuff like that women tend to hate because how dare you as a male find stuff like that attractive and your evil male gaze is no longer needed that is the theme <laughs> okay because i guarantee you no offense to the women here but if it was females and their female gaze on these characters no one would say a word about it no one no one would care no okay it's allowed if it's female but if it's males and it's, it's a crime against humanity and deserve to get um to get stoned okay <laughs> that's what that's the reality of our life right now it is what it is you have to be mad the facts are all around you like that eyes <laughs> you know what i'm saying anyway it is a shame hopefully maybe that elon musk is in charge that things might change but i don't know we'll, we'll see anyway like i said Jap japan is not safe from the w word okay um which is sad, but that's why we are here, to keep calling it out. And hopefully, we can make some kind of impact, all right? But anyway, drop your comment down below. Let's discuss. I'm looking forward to reading your comments, okay? Um, if not subscribed, come on, man. Go ahead. Hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell for more content like this in Nerdy Geek Culture. I post every day, Monday through Friday. Last week, I posted literally every day, <laughs> all right? So make sure you subscribe and support the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Ah, uh, yeah. Peace.